This video will show you some other features on the 3D view. One of the things you might notice is that the fin um, kind of looks washed out because it appears that there's light that's bouncing off the fin and back into the lens of the camera that's looking at the rocket. You can give the rocket a little better appearance by going to the camera controller and adding a studio light. So there's a button down here that says add studio light. Click that and just choose the default settings and click OK. When you click OK here, watch the fin and what it looks like. You'll see that it, it now renders better. You also notice that, uh, did you see that the nose cone disappeared there for a second? Well, we can change that to make it render a little bit faster by going to the preferences. On the Macintosh, it's under the Rock Sim menu. On, on Windows, it's under the Edit menu. Uh, then click on the 3D Rendering tab. And if you uncheck this box that says Use Variable Resolution Parts, it will render a little bit faster because it's not trying to figure out which parts have what um, resolution to them. Um, by default, uh, Rocksim set to high resolution. You don't need to change this. Um, you can also, on this screen, change the engine color. Right now I have it set to a brown. Um, if you have a composite motor that has a black color, you can change that to black. Click OK, and then when you click OK here, you'll notice that the rocket engine here in the back of the rocket is now black. And then when we rotate around, we're not losing any parts uh, because the computer cannot render fast enough.